Figma Sites lets you create high quality websites all in one place. In this video, we're going to explore the features that let you create beautiful responsive layouts for any screen size, copy and paste between Figma Design and Figma Sites, bring your site to life with pre-built interactions, collaborate with designers and developers using AI-powered code layers, and publish your site to share it with the world. You can create a new website right from the Figma file browser or by going straight to figma.com slash site slash new. Figma Sites has several ways you can start building, no matter your skill level. When you create a new website, you'll see a collection of templates to jumpstart your website building process. For now, let's start with a blank site. Every new website in Figma Sites starts with a single web page with two breakpoints, desktop and mobile. These are where you'll add content for the web page. Let's take a closer look at how breakpoints work as they're a core part of working in Figma Sites. In web design, breakpoints refer to specific screen widths where your web page layout changes to meet the needs of different screen sizes. You can add as many breakpoints as you like, but most sites won't need more than a desktop, tablet, and mobile breakpoint. The desktop breakpoint is the primary breakpoint by default. Any changes you make to elements in the primary breakpoint cascade to the other secondary breakpoints, while changes made in a secondary breakpoint affect only that specific breakpoint. This way, you don't have to design every breakpoint from scratch, but also get the ability to customize each screen's experience. When you start building a website, it's best to create all your breakpoints first before adding your design. As you start adding content, you'll get immediate feedback on how the layout looks on different devices. Go here to add a breakpoint. Choose one with a predefined width or enter a custom width. Let's add a tablet breakpoint. Now, let's use Figma Sites pre-built blocks to quickly lay out a website. In the navigation bar, select Inserts. You'll see the option to choose either blocks or libraries. We'll start with blocks. Page blocks are entire web pages. There are also navigation, heroes, features, and embeds like forms and videos. These are all design elements found in most web pages. Let's try it out. From navigation, select a header block and drag it into the primary breakpoint. The header aligns to the top and fills the width of the breakpoint. Breakpoints automatically apply vertical auto layout when blocks are dragged into them. This helps you snap a page together quickly by adding one block after another. You can also find footer blocks in the navigation section, so let's drag one below the header. Then, let's add a hero and drag it between the header and footer. Finally, grab a feature block and place it under the hero. You just set the foundation for a complete web page. Not only that, but Figma Sites has automatically adjusted the design of our mobile and tablet breakpoints using the same blocks. Now that we have our different breakpoints set up, we can customize the experience for each screen. As mentioned, any changes made in the secondary breakpoints will only affect the designs in that breakpoint. Okay, let's see what our site looks like at different screen sizes by previewing it. In the preview window, you can toggle between different breakpoints by clicking the device screens at the top, or by dragging the handles on either side to see the site adjust. This is a great way to check that your breakpoints are working how you want them. When the preview crosses the width for a new breakpoint, you can see how Figma switches over to the layout of the next breakpoint. When you're done previewing, click close to go back to the canvas. The numbers above each breakpoint indicate the minimum and maximum widths when that layout will be active. To change them, select a breakpoint and change its width. Figma Sites will adjust all other breakpoints accordingly. If you want to use website designs you've already made in Figma Design, you can copy and paste their frames directly into Figma Sites. To do this, select a breakpoint and paste your design directly into that breakpoint. Now you can easily fine-tune the design to fit the needs of each breakpoint. Figma Sites relies on auto layout to create a responsive experience for your breakpoints, so we recommend using it when creating your sites. To learn more about auto layout, check out the Figma Design for Beginners course on the Help Center or go through the exercises in the Figma Sites Playground file in Figma Community.
Of course, you can also start from scratch and design directly in Figma sites. The toolbar at the bottom of the canvas is where you can add new web pages and use other tools you may be familiar with if you've used Figma Design. You'll find region tools like frames, sections, and web pages, shape tools to create vector shapes, pen tool to draw custom vector paths, icons, and illustrations, the image tool to add images and videos to your website, the text tool to add text layers, the comment tool for when you're collaborating with a team, and the actions menu which is where you can find handy actions and AI-powered features to speed up your workflows. We recommend designing each section of your web page on the canvas, then dropping it into the relevant breakpoint when you're ready. You can think of this like building your own blocks and adding them to the primary breakpoint like we did with inserts earlier. Here's a quick example. Create a web page with a desktop and mobile breakpoint. Now apply auto layout to your breakpoints by selecting the primary, then choose the vertical layout from the right sidebar. We recommend using vertical layout since most websites are experienced from top to bottom. Now create a frame on the canvas. Add a color fill like this so it's easier to see in our example. Now drag that frame into the web page. See how it doesn't quite fit the width of any of the breakpoints? To fix this, select the frame and set the width to fill container. This setting ensures each section will always span the full width of the breakpoint, which is ideal when designing for different screen sizes. Note that fill container is only available when the frame is nested inside another auto layout frame. In this case, the breakpoint itself with its vertical layout applied. Once you're happy with your site's design, you can bring it to life with interactions from the interaction panel. If you're familiar with Figma design, you'll recognize interactions like back and scroll to, but Figma Sites has many new powerful interactions that you can use, like reveal, which makes elements visible when a trigger happens, like when it enters the screen or when the page loads. Scroll transform adjusts an element's properties such as size, position, opacity, and rotation as you scroll. Cursor effects replace the standard mouse cursor with a design of your choice, like an image, vector object, or frame. Draggable lets users click and drag on elements to move them around, and a bunch more, like Lightbox, Marquee, and Parallax. Try one out for yourself on a design or a block. Code layers use AI and a prompting interface to help anyone, no matter their skill level, create custom functionality for their site using code. Let's try it out by creating an animated background for a header block. Select the block, navigate to the right sidebar, and click Make Code from Design. From the Make window, enter the following prompt, or try one of your own that describes an experience you'd like to create for the design. Once Figma is done generating, you can see an interactive preview and can also view and edit the resulting code. Back on the canvas, we can check our results from the full screen or inline preview. If you're not getting the result you expected, double click the code layer to re-enter make view and explore guiding the AI with new prompts and directions. When you're happy with your design, you can start making it more accessible for visitors. Select an element of your design and apply HTML tags and accessibility properties from the accessibility section in the right sidebar. This improves usability for people who rely on screen readers or keyboard navigation and can boost your site's search engine optimization. When you're ready to publish, go to Site Settings in the navbar to enter key information about your site. Here, you can enter a title and description for your site. You can also specify an ISO language code, add a Google Analytics ID, fill out accessibility settings, upload a favicon that will appear in a browser tab, add a social sharing image for when people share your site, and add password protection. After updating your site settings, click the Publish button at the top of the page and follow the steps to publish your site. Nice! With your site published, anyone can now view it live on the web. 
your Figma site will be available with a Figma.site subdomain like this one. After you publish, you can customize the subdomain of your site or connect your own custom domain if you have one. Figma Sites brings your ideas to life and publishes them straight to the web. With blocks, AI-driven features like code layers, and ready-to-use interactions, you can build and ship fast. Figma Sites is always improving as we add more features and capabilities. Check out our Help Center for up-to-date documentation, and subscribe to our channel to be notified about future Figma Sites videos. Yeah.